News Defense. Seen one of the ASCOD-2 armored vehicles that arrived a few days ago for the Philippine Army, believed to be a commando variant that will lack the gun and turret of the Sabre light tank. The ASCOD-2 armored vehicle was purchased as part of the Philippine Army's light tank acquisition project under the Horizon 2 phase of the RAPFMP. Of the 20 ASOCD-2 vehicles, 18 will have the Sabre light tank system, one will be a command variant, and one will be an armored recovery vehicle. Based on the photo below, the vehicle is equipped with a UT-25 unmanned turret with a 25mm cannon from Elbit Systems, similar to the one installed on the M113A2 from a separate contract several years ago. This means that the command vehicle will be better armed than expected, as we previously believed it might only have an RCWS with a 12.7mm heavy machine gun similar to the British Army's Ajax Athens command vehicle. It appears that the Philippine Army is still pushing for the use of 25mm autocannons for its IFVs rather than switching to the larger 30mm guns as the Philippine Navy is starting to do. The good news is that although the Philippine Army still uses 25mm guns, the UT-25 unmanned turret can be modified to mount a 30mm gun like the UT-30 unmanned turrets used by other countries. So it is not too late for the Philippine Army to make changes in the future. The introduction of the ASCOD-2 plus UT-25 actually opens the door for the Philippine Army to consider such a configuration when it begins looking for infantry fighting vehicles for its armored, mechanized infantry units in the near future. They should already know that for territorial defense against enemy armored vehicles, 12.7mm heavy machine guns are no longer enough. Armored vehicles better protected than the M113 will have to use heavier caliber weapons from now on and not just be fighter taxis unable to fight in high-threat environments such as against foreign armies and marines.